should at least try some of this. You, you haven't eaten anything in two days. I'm not hungry. We brought you some magazines. Cosmopolitan. Great. It always cheers me to see a woman with nothing on but suspenders from the waist up. <laughs> there, you can shred those for the bottom of his cage. What'd you name him, anyway? Nothing. Julie, that's terrible. Everything should have a name. Charlene, I'm not in the mood. If he applies for a passport or a driver's license, I'll take care of it, okay? <laughs> well, I know, but you can't just let him go through life without any identity at all. That's just not right. I mean, I had a cat once. All but... right, all right. You can call him Tweety. Tweety it is. Well, if you ask me, I think you should just call up Reese, forget the humiliation of only being married for 15 minutes, and get on with the rest of your life. Julia, you said yourself that you didn't want to be married. I said it and I meant it. Reese Watson doesn't have to marry me, but he sure as hell ought to want to be married to me. Now, Julia, that's selfish and small-minded. That's who I am. <laughs> you are not those things. Yes, I am. I have to have my way. It's a chromosomal defect among the women in our family. It is not. It is, too. You're like that. Mother's like that. All the sugar baker women are like that. Look, the truth of this whole thing is that if, if we hadn't been there the other morning, you would have signed those papers in a minute and not given it another thought. You're just embarrassed. And that's silly, because we're your friends. That's right. You can't just lie up here forever. Why not? Well, because... Your muscles will sag. You'll get poor circulation and facial hair. <laughs> you know, that reminds me. I want y'all to promise me if I'm ever paralyzed or lying in a hospital bed unable to move my arms, that you'll be there with tweezers. If you'll do the same for me. I don't have facial hair. I hate to break up a panel discussion on a topic of this importance, but it is time for my soap opera, and I want to see if Frank and Kim are going to get the loan on their discotheque. All right, we can take a hint. I'm sure you don't want anything to eat? I'm sure. Okay. Well, if you change your mind, you just call. All right. Reese, what are you doing here? I'm here for the wedding. What, 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 what wedding? Julia's and mine. This is Reverend Gilbert. He'll be doing the honors today. Are you serious? Where is she, anyway? I'm right here. And I'd like to know just what in the Sam Hill you think you're doing. Come down these stairs. I want to talk to you. Don't order me around. Julia, either you come down these stairs or I'll come up and get you. This is good. All right. <laughs> I'm coming, but only to get something I left in my desk. What do you need? A rubber band. One of the little seats fell off Tweety's Ferris wheel. <laughs> If you care anything at all about your instrument, you will stop. <laughs> I know. Have you ever been on Evelyn Jarbo's party barge? No, I don't think so. I recognize the name. Tall, lots of makeup, always has a dog with her. <laughs> what are you doing here? I got your telegram. My telegram? Yes, your telegram. And I decided if you can be that big about the way I've behaved, well, I can be bigger. What telegram? I didn't send a telegram. Suzanne just told me you sent me one. <laughs> and let me be the first to congratulate both of you. Suzanne! Oh. Right. I admit I did it just to get the two of you back together again, but I mean, I had no idea it was gonna show up with a minister. You people are so extreme. <laughs> Look. It doesn't matter who sent what to whom. This time, I want this thing to be done right and with dignity. Put this deal on your head. <laughs> and this time, try to be quiet. Reese, this is a very sweet gesture. This is but no I... gesture. This is a bona fide wedding. This is what you wanted, and I don't want to hear any more about it. Reverend, now, could we please just try to muster up a little dignity here? Have you been drinking again? That is not a dignified question. <laughs>